Okay guys, I'm working on my Jeep today and today the project is replacing this passenger side rear axle in my Dana 35. This uh, axle, as you see right here, had rusted and has pitted. You can, I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but it's, it's pitted right there where you see the discoloration. Um, that's where the bearings race. Uh, the, that's the race for the bearings. And what it's doing is it's wearing my bearings out uh, very quickly. So what I'm going to have to do, the only way I know to fix this is to replace it. So I'm going to go to the salvage yard today and try to find a Dana 35. And this is a Dana 35C, which means it has a clip on the end. See if I can find one of these axles and replace that. Let's, let's do that. Okay, I have just returned from the salvage yard and I found a 92 Jeep Cherokee with a 4.0 and had a Dana 35 rear end in it. This is the Dana 35 rear, rear axle that I pulled from it. This is the passenger side and this is the, I went ahead and pulled the driver side too while I was at it in case I have a problem with mine. Um, they're identical axles. And as you can see, this is my axle that came out of my Jeep. Apparently my Jeep before I bought it had been sitting up without any oil in the rear end and it had rusted. Um, this is where the bearing races roll right here. And this is the used axle that I pulled from the Jeep Cherokee. So I'm very pleased with that. This one axle cost me 25 bucks and it's an identical axle to the one that came out of my Jeep. So I'm about to, uh, I'm going to, I just cleaned it up and uh, I'm about to put a little paint on it and then I will install it into my Jeep. So, and I will have an extra driver side axle in case my other one goes bad. So, straight from the salvage yard, Jeep repair. <laughs> Thanks for watching.